Okay, so get untracked changes controls how untracked changes behave. And we have three options here. Mixed is what we had before, so all changes, tracked and untracked, appear together and behave equally. So you have uh, hidden, which means that you will not see uh, untracked changes um, in the source control tab. And then you have the separate, uh, which so you'll see a, a, a different uh, like a separator for that. So let me show you what this looks like. Let's start with mixed. So we have a, a, a repository here. We have no changes. So let's create an untracked change. So let's create a new file somewhere. And uh, if we go to the source control tab, we'll see that now we have a new change. We have a, a file that's untracked and that's showing up with this uh, green U there, right? So this is the mixed option. If we set this to hidden, the file will not show up because we, we, are, we are hiding uh, untracked files. And then we have the separate. So um, you have changes to uh, previous files that are already being tracked. And then you have like this little uh, separator that pertains only to um, new files, right? So untracked, uh, yet untracked files. So I actually prefer the separate option because there is a semantically different, uh, an objectively different, I'm sorry, there's a, <laughs> an objective difference between um, untracked changes and tracked changes. And that is, there's a new file coming into the repository, right? So uh, I think that's that's an important semantic difference. Uh, and I do enjoy seeing uh, new files, you know, being shown in, in a separate, uh, separate from the other changes, instead of just having the little green U there. Uh, so I'm leaving the settings set to separate.